Jayanth Mahabhatra's poem The Exile describes the plight of being in exile. Evidently the speaker in the poem is in a miserable state of mind. He seems to be broken physically, mentally and morally. So he gives vent to his feelings of distress and frustration. He first refers to a decaying village which has a crude and shabby look and which is situated by the side of the sun-burned hills. The village is evidently situated in a hilly area. People keep dying everywhere and people die in and around this village also. So that the protagonist frequently witnesses dead bodies being burned on the funeral pyres. The wind sometimes scatters the ashes from these funeral pyres and these ashes which the protagonist regards as the ashes of the present or the passing memories of the present which is fast becoming the past. He feels that some of these ashes fall upon him and stick to different parts of his body. Having walked away some distance from the village, the protagonist now returns. He is so lost in his thoughts that he feels like one who has been drugged. He is only semi-conscious because of his self-absorption. He has old ailing parents to look after. The long-haired priest who looks after the shrine of the goddess Kali still steals jasmines from other people's gardens and parks in order to offer them to goddess Kali early in the morning. The priest continues with his professional duties while the protagonist is feeling miserable. The protagonist thinks himself that he is in an exile. His condition is no better than that of a person who has been banished from his country. But his state of exile is unlike the state of exile of anybody else. He finds himself torn between the good and the evil which pull him in opposite directions. He experiences the pull of good but he also experiences the pull of evil. In this state he feels that it would be better for him to die. Death would come to him like a scorpion sting and would awaken him into a state of full awareness of his plight. But although death might come to his rescue in one way, the past of his country creates in him an urge to continue living in the hope of a renaissance. The expected renaissance would resemble a relative whom one has never seen but who might arrive one day. It is possible that his country, which is in a miserable condition, might renew itself and regain its ancient glory. Meantime, the protagonist hopes to continue perform his duties and carrying on his back his own trivial and foolish actions and thoughts in the hope of entering his father's house. His duty, says the protagonist, is perceptible in the eyes of his son, whom he can see on a tree. The Exile is one of Mahabhatra's philosophical poems. Here Mahabhatra depicts a protagonist who regards himself as an exile. The word exile is used in two ways. It may mean a person who has been banished from his country, but it also means the state of banishment or the condition of a person who has been banished. In the present case, the word has been used for the banished person in the title of the poem. But it has been used in the other sense in the poem itself. The poem consists of four stanzas and there is no close interconnection between any two stanzas. Thus the technique of this poem is that of an imagist poem. But it cannot be categorized as an imagist poem because it is deeply personal. And the protagonist is here revealing to us his own innermost thoughts. It is a psychological poem, in fact a surrealistic poem. Here the protagonist explores not only the outside world but his own inner world also. He tries to penetrate the depths of his own mind besides depicting outward sciences. Although the ideas and thoughts in this poem are abstract and intangible, the imagery is perfectly vivid and some of it is more realistic though couched in difficult language and clothed in metaphors.